Hello and welcome to Winging It. So in this video we have a game that I played recently in a live stream over on Twitch. So if you don't know, I do have a Twitch channel. You can go and follow me there and join in on all the fun whenever I do a live stream. And uh, yeah, as you can probably tell from the title of this video, this game is going to be a little bit different to uh, the usual games of Wingspan that you'll be used to seeing on this channel. So strap yourselves in, enjoy the rides, and uh, yeah, I'll hand you over now to my former self. Uh, full cash, anyone? <laughs> uh, I wish this was the Asia one that was birds with cashed food. But never mind. Um, let's just do it. Let's do it. Why not? It'd be funny. What could go wrong? <laughs> what could go wrong? <laughs> okay, let's get something. There we go. Uh, that should do the job. Oh, and we'll get get a groove song on. I just see that now. I'll add that to the key so that can come up after this one. Oh dear. I think this is only a short one anyway, so. Hey, let's do our thing. Why no turtle? Turtle boo. I could have kept it, but I want the extra seed. I'm just going to vibe for a bit and wait and see if something good comes up in the tray. But otherwise, yeah, we'll just go. We'll go full cash. Full cash for a bit. See where it takes us. Um, and in the meantime, I'll check. What is uh, what is the cash food record? <laughs> okay, great tip. Black Woodpecker. Well, okay, so the tray's going to get reset. Or the bird feeder. Yeah, because that resets the bird feeder. And that's going to gain all the worms. So hopefully these guys are leaving me lots of seeds. All right, what's the cash food record? 3p. Cash food, 51 points. 51 cash food. That could be doable. Oh, why did it not... Why did it not queue up? Well, I'll override. I need to... I think maybe, maybe there's old stuff in the queue. Yeah, I need to clear the queue. There we go. Oh, bee eater. <laughs> um, well, neither of these people will want bee eater, will they? I'll leave it. Oh, and another requested song, so we'll get the queued up as well. This one from Zoopity Zoop Soup. Um, so there we go, we'll get the queued up. And yeah, just as a reminder, Anyone watching, if you've got channel points, if you've been uh, getting these predictions right all evening, or if you've just been watching along and uh, stacking up those channel points, spend them, spend them, spend them. Don't sit there with channel points uh, in your bank account for no reason. Spend them. Uh, spend them on something cool, um, like requesting a song. Um, or or reminding me to hydrate, that also works. So thank you, Master of Nonsense. I do have my water ready. Cheers to Master of Nonsense. Um, yeah, Cuckoo's appeared, so if it's there, I'll grab it. Lots of Rule 16s going on. But yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll take it. Is it really water? It is water. It's a Wednesday, come on. <laughs> Just think I'm drinking straight gin on a Wednesday. Okay, it's gone. Never mind. We'll take our seeds and uh, skip for now.
and we'll save uh, we'll save a little bit of food because we might be able to compete for the center round. But yeah, get a bunch of seeds, cash a bunch of seeds. That is the plan. That's the plan. What could go wrong? We're looking for we're looking for chickadees and stuff like that. More cash food, please. Um, that's gonna be our approach. More seeds. Leave them there. Leave them there for me. Yes. Excellent. <laughs> so is this the... This is the... Um, this is the player who's got the bee eater. So we'll see if they force that down. This is not going well for this black woodpecker player because the, the re-rolls or the bird feed is not... Not being very reroll friendly, which is kind of what you, kind of what you need. You need only one one food, or like be able to take one food and reroll. So this is not good for them. Oh. Black woodpecker equals forest bee eater. Yeah, it is. Uh, it, it can be a little bit like that. Oh, they must have chucked a card. Must have chucked a card. They did. All right. Well, let's play a crossbill. All right here we go. This is uh, this is Zoopity Zoop Zoops requested song. And in the meantime, we'll get uh, the prediction ready. As a reminder, this is uh, let's get this right. This is V Paul's board, and this is Louise's board. Turn pretty nice. Sprague's Pippet. Not going with the bee eater. Very interesting. Um, lots of seeds, that's what we would like to see. And I'm gonna skip. I've been thinking about this. I'm gonna skip. I'm gonna hold these seeds back. Win this first and a wrong goal. And then cash them all later. I feel like I don't know. I suppose I suppose Vpol could just go through twice. Oh, oh no, they had the beater. My faulty memory. Yeah, this this is not the beat. This is the beater player. This this is the one who's got cuckoo. Um, but yeah, they could they could go for food, but I don't think they can. I think they can challenge. Red kite there is an awesome bird in real life. Not sure I played it at wingspan. Yeah, I mean I agree. Um, red kites are pretty cool birds. Um, I have played it in Wingspan. It's very, 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 and I think that was enough very situational. Um, if you don't have much food and you have a zero point bird in round four, play that on top of it. If you've got Omnivore or Rodentologist or Falconer or like, I don't know, Bird Bander or something, um, there are there are situations where it's it's pretty handy. But yeah, more often than not, sadly. It's uh, it's not the best, so uh, doesn't doesn't get a whole lot of doesn't get a whole lot of game time. Oh. Right, what are we praying? What are we praying for? What are we looking out for? I think I think just more more caching birds. 
are ruining my bird feeder. I was going for a nice reroll there. I think, um, yeah, more caching birds. Obviously, something like wood duck kind of goes without saying would be good, but yeah. Yeah, thanks, Cheese. <laughs> I mean, I think like even just like a tucking bird, to be honest, I'd take a house finch. Um, just get a bit of cart cycle going while we're caching. Oh, good. Please leave me a seed. Oh, because you're woodpeckering, so you are going to leave me a seed. Excellent. Thank you. Let's do it. Let's take food. Um, and yeah, we're going to be on nine. We're going to give you one, but you're only going to get to eight. So this is great stuff. Look at all these seeds we, we've got ready. So there we go. Win the end of round. Tip mouse. Excellent. Excellent. That's what I like to see. Teal power like a Starlow and Crawler Dove, yes. 100% I want to see that because it means I can just keep taking food. If I get seeds, I cash them. If I don't, uh, they're going to get turned into tucks. So anyway, we ran out of music, so let's start afresh. I don't want someone getting that golden Oriole, but tough. <laughs> they can have it. So yeah, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna go tip mouse. And yeah, I think because it's the diver is that the one that resets a tray. It is. This is excellent. This is really good. We're going to get a lot of fresh trays to look at here. So hopefully we can just be patient. And patience is hopefully going to pay off. Um, and yeah, we'll just wait. Wait for the good stuff to appear. Plan in his villain is his villain. <laughs> I can't even read. Villain voice. This is excellent. Yeah, that was that was kind of ominous, wasn't it? The way I said that. But it is excellent. So <laughs> keep us hawk as well. Actually, not bad. Um, would help for this end of round. I think I, I think I, I think my focus is cash this though. I don't I don't want I don't want tucks. I don't want Cooper's hawk hunts. I want. I want caches, so give me give me something that can cash. Otherwise, I'm not interested. Tux, I sleep. I'm all about caches for this game, at least. I would definitely expect someone to pick up that golden Oriole. I think it's pretty obvious that I'm going to be taking food a lot. No, they want the ruddy duck. Cash money millionaire. All about them caches. Oh. Right, what's the rule 16 going to be? What are we going to get our hands on? Do, 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 do. Huh. White-backed woodpecker. Hmm. That might be me done. <laughs> um. Yeah. Let's do it. Let's play the woodpecker with those two fish. And then I think we just take food for the rest of the game. <laughs> see where it takes us. Uh, how many egg spaces are we going to have? Like this. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Yeah. Egg space. We are going to run out, but I think we'll probably have to draw cards like at least one. So. Oh, hummingbird. Hello. Give me seed with hummingbird, please. Oh man, can can we get the record? Five. If we average five caches a turn, 
multiplayer tip mouse, if we average five caches a turn for the rest of the game, and we de we're guaranteed to get one here, and we're guaranteed to get one because of this, so we just need three seeds. We're gaining four food and a hummingbird thrown in as well. I think we could. I think we could do this. I think we got a we got a very real chance. Carrying crow for the next two rounds. Yeah. If someone had hunters, but they don't, so I sleep. I sleep. Someone has Benelli. Hmm. I mean, someone will have it probably at some point. Oh no, because it was a uh, yeah, it was it was in the tray, wasn't it? So Vpol's got it. Vpol someone with Benelli. Okay, not a good feeder. Um, but that was their B to re-rolling and getting it stuck, so. Um, hopefully this guy takes food. Nope, never mind. Let's take food ourselves. Cool. Um, yep. Now we can start caching. Force down tip mouse. Did they take the Cooper Sword? Okay. Well, okay, then it's one. It's basically a six point bird. Yeah, there's the Cooper Sword. I want something better than Carrying Crow. And I think with this diver, I'm going to get some rule 16, so. All that talk of me desperately wanting to win a game. And we're just going meme full cash. <laughs> Some things are more important than winning. <clears throat> okay, here we go. Let's play to mouse. There we go. <laughs> the setup is complete. We're already on 28 points. And this maxes out. This maxes out at 8 points a turn. No, 7 points a turn. 5 caches, 6 here, and then a, a, a 7 with an egg. So, Oh, that's a very exciting groove. That is very exciting indeed. That's more exciting than going full cash, and uh, that's saying something. Nice, congratulations. That is that is much excitement. I love getting baby updates on this stream. That was that was where that was where the first big announcement was. And uh, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna hopefully hopefully I'm still here in however many months till the due date. And we can keep getting periodic updates. Um, <laughs> all the way through. That's cool. That's exciting stuff. Is Charles' middle name going to be Benelli? Not out of 10. Do not recommend uh, agreeing to call your child Benelli. Man, look at how many seeds these guys have got. <laughs> I kind of feel a bit silly just throwing seeds at them, but... <laughs> what can I say? I just can't, I can't resist. <clears throat> I heard Jeese is going to name his first child after the Bee Eater, so that's very interesting. Are you going to draw cards now and give me a rule 16 or are you going to wait? If 
if I do once if I do want to rule 16, it's definitely Starling. Starling would be the best because it's a lot of egg space. And I'm gonna get plenty of food that's not seeds, so to be able to turn that into something. So yeah, if you could just if you could just reveal me a Starling. I wouldn't say no. Name reveal next Saturday. Oh, 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 oh big news. Very big news. Exciting. Look forward to, to hearing about that one. Okay, I kind of sleep on that tray, so let's hope for seeds. <laughs> Excellent. And cash, 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 cash. And uh, egg as well. Oh, yeah. If we actually win this game, I, I, I'm going to find that very funny. <laughs> Yeah, already already ten cash foods, so we're a fifth of the way to the record, and we still got twelve turns to go. So I think we're I think we're okay. Guess live streaming the name the name reveal is a no go. <laughs> that's like that's we're so millennial, aren't we? Everything has to be live streamed. You can't possibly have a single moment of intimacy to yourself. You can't do anything personal in your own life. You've got to live stream it. Get it on TikTok straight away. <laughs> oh, the modern world, eh? I sound like such an old man. Live streaming it in person. <clears throat> All right. Actually, I didn't look at the prediction at all. Oh, okay. Interesting. Interesting. Someone's gone big. <laughs> Someone has gone very big. I don't know if that was a good idea or not. A few other people have got a bit more conservative. So maybe that'll maybe that'll pay off for them. Okay. Go food again. Cool. Very good. Let's get a bit of food diversity. All right, what are we going to get after Veeple has done their turn? What's going to be in the tray? Please give me a starling. <laughs> YOLO, paying all your points. You bet all of them. <laughs> Oh man, I mean it is a lot. <laughs> I can see it's quite a lot. Ah, oh, beans, what have you done? What have you done? You're gonna have to you're gonna have to watch the stream a lot to to get all those points back. Assuming you don't win, but we'll see. Think of the song requests, absolutely. That is at least four song requests there. I'll never recover from this. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, okay, they have gone Ibis, so. Ooh. Damn it. Why could you not have seeds when I need them? Do you get... Uh, yeah, you. I think... I don't know exactly how the channel points work, but for watching... I, th I mean, I think if you're subscribed, I think you get a multiplier. So I think I think people who are subscribed get more channel points. Um, I don't know if it's like one and a half or two times or something, but you get you get channel points for just watching, just being on the stream. You get channel points. Oh, that's a lot of seeds. You get channel points for commenting in the chat and and yeah, doing all that good interaction stuff. So um, yeah, you got some good. Um, yeah, good ways of earning the bag. So I sleep on that tray as well. So let's just take the seeds because there's seeds there. And when there are seeds there, I want to take them. So there we go. Nice big point turn there. And we just keep waiting. Keep waiting for this uh, this this diver. Is it diver? Yeah. Keep waiting for the diver. Keep waiting for the diver. Yeah, this is a uh, is this V pole? 
yeah, V-Pol's got a, got a tasty little grasslands going, and obviously I'm throwing seeds as well, so they're getting good eggs, they're getting good food. If they can find some big point birds, um, and with that wetlands, they're looking at a lot of cards, so they have every realistic chance of being able to do that. But hopefully. Man, I just, I, I really need, I really need that, that teal power. That could be game winning for me if I, if I do find that teal power. Hello, Ms. Marzi, welcome. How is it going? It's going great here. Uh, we've, we've, we've had a bad, we've had a bad record on stream. We lost the two games earlier, but we're, we're having a fun one here. <laughs> we're having a fun one here. We're going all in on the forest, and we're we're gonna we're gonna try and beat the cached food points record. That's what we're going for. Um, so seeds is what we're looking for. As long as we can get lots of seeds, um, I'm gonna be happy. So um, that doesn't make me happy, but never mind. Um, yeah, let's just take the worm, I suppose. Cash, 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 cash. And take the egg as well. Yeah. It's been a good stream. It's been, it's been it's been nice and relaxed. It's been nice and laid back. Chat has been on top form. So pat yourselves on the back, everyone in chat. You've uh, you've been you've been exemplary today. It's been a very fun stream. Oh hey Malou. <laughs> um, this engine is kind of working out. It is kind of working out. I'm on 56 points. Um, we're still. All turns are going round three, so it's, it's it's working surprisingly well. I have to say, I did not expect it to go this well. Um, but yeah, we started with Sparrow Nutcracker cross built. It was obvious to me we'd go full cash from that. I picked up a Titmouse round two, I think, and then someone rule sixteen to Woodpecker, so I just played those as well. I'm kind of waiting on a I'm waiting on a teal power. I want um I want a Starling or something. Um, cause yeah, that's, uh, there goes, there goes Puffin. Um, that's going to be the key cause I have loads of food. Um, that's not going to be seeds. So, um, yeah, we're, 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 in, we're going to run out this turn of all these seeds. Um, so if you can find some birds. Definitely looks like a fun game. Never seen a full forest engine like this before. Neither have I. <laughs> so <laughs> we'll see. It's first time for everything. First time for everything. We'll see if this works out. This is going to be uh, this. This is going to be the new strategy. All the cool kids are going to be doing this um, very, very soon. Um, but yeah, the new meta, absolutely, absolutely zoopity. All cash is the way. Oh, but yeah, just kind of crying out, crying out for some stuff to do with all this other food because. We're uh, we're not looking so good. The, one of these players, this one has got a diver. I really, really, really want them to keep drawing cards and keep resetting the tray because I need fresh trays to look at. But yeah, it did line up quite well with that first end around goal. So food and personal supply. I just took food, all of that first round. Didn't cash any of it. Kept it all. Won the end of round. And then I've been slowly working through my reserve of extra seeds um, as the rest of the game has gone on. So it's worked quite well. It's cool trying some new things. You never know how things will work out if you don't try. On stream, probably the best way to do it. Absolutely. That is my mantra to a T. You don't know something's going to work until you try it. And it's fun trying out stuff with you guys watching. So um, we're going to see. We're going to see how far we get. Um, so yeah, only three caches this time. So we have to pick our three favourite birds. I think probably these three are our favourite birds right now. But yeah, may may we keep getting seeds and hopefully this hummingbird as well. I would like that. If that could give me the occasional seed, I wouldn't say no. But yeah, we're going to see. We're going to see how viable the strategy is. Um, and man, if we can get that teal power, that's, uh, that's going to be a game changer for us. But it is the kind of thing, equally, where um, if either of these other two players find one of those, I think they're going to play it because 
they're not going to be short for you either. Yeah, uh, uh, Grey Mice think alike, Super D. Um, yeah, the, the, I need it. I need it to come up. They they use the diver. They pick up a new bird, and then reveal. Um, then reveal it after that. So, I'm um, going heavy on bonus cards. Is V pole, so that could be our undoing. But come on, seeds. Okay, only one, but we might get another one on the reroll. We do indeed. So we'll take that. I mean, this is the thing. It's still. Spread these out a bit. Even a turn like that. Right, we only get two... We only get two seeds from the bird feeder, but we get a third here, so that's three caches. And four caches here, and the egg. So it's still a five-point turn. Which is not bad. It's not bad at all. Um, but yeah. Egg space is actually not as much of a problem as I thought. I thought we were going to run out a lot sooner. But we're actually only going to run out on the last turn, so... I think we're okay. I think we're in the clear. I think we just keep doing this. Um, just keep doing this. I'm not even sure. I'm not sure there's a bird. I suppose like a collared dove. If a collared dove came out last round, picking that up and playing that, it's 10 points versus two turns, gaining food. Maybe not getting that much, but look, we're all in for the caches here. We're already on 42. The record is in sight. I can smell it. I can taste it. I can nearly touch it. <laughs> That's what we're going for. So 52 is the magic number we're looking for. So we're only 10 away. But yeah. We might have a couple of turns to spare. If we uh, if we do get something like a collar dove that, that pops up. The dream would be Moorhen. Like with this engine, imagine. Oh, come on! Give me the, give me the seeds. Like imagine if you had Moorhen with this setup. How perfect would that be? Like you've got spare eggs. You've got more than enough spare food. The only thing you don't have is cards. And if you can pick up cards and play them in the same turn, that is magical. So yeah, Moorhen OP in this setup. But we've not seen it. These guys, they've all got lots of bonus cards. And that does worry me. That does worry me. So if they've got some good ones. First time the dream would be more hen has ever crossed anyone's lips. Hey, I I'm always I'm always dreaming of a more hen. Um I'm always dreaming of a more hen. Okay, we got a we got a tray reset, but it sucks, so we're not we're not interested. Um, on it, I find it I find it really hard to not get distracted when Morhen comes up because it's so it's so tempting, like it's so tantalising to to see it there and and think oh I could I could have fun here because it is really fun. I love using Morhen. It's always good fun. Um, but yeah, I have to I have to really have a lot of willpower there and uh, and self-control to stop myself <laughs> to hold myself back because <laughs> um, it is uh, is is so tempting it's hard to resist but man yeah more hen here would be would be dreamy dreamy stuff but would it would mean less cash food and that's boring we want cash food we want cash food Okay, so I suppose they're probably not going to draw cards again. At this point, you probably just legs and play stuff with all those seeds. <laughs> just force it all down. And yeah, same over here. Just keep laying eggs. Um, these guys are going to win lots of end around gold points. Actually, I suppose I only just noticed I didn't even see that last end around gold birds in a row. That's perfect. We've just accidentally done that all game, so. We'll get a few points there. But yeah, we are going to miss out on this one. 
we ever get a resource to pub in did we ever get a resource to pub crossings? We did not. Um I don't know why. I don't know why. I suppose on the baseboard they went forest and wetland, because does that make more sense? But yeah, I feel like I feel like that would be a very easy that'd be a very easy fan made card to make, because it is it is definitely a it's definitely a gap there. It's definitely something they're missing. So that would be nice. I can imagine that being quite useful on the Oceania board. Um, to, to lay eggs and then play a bird immediately. Oh, there's a chickadee. But too late. Already filled up. Cassis Finch. Oh! Five bonus cards. Calm down, v -Pole. Calm down. Madness. Okay, it looks like looks like they're using hummingbird here. Please take the rodent. Please take the rodent. Please take the rodent. Please take the rodent. Sad ethologist. Oh, they didn't take the rodent. Yeah, this this ethologist. I mean, it's still two points. Like, this is the thing. It's the it. it <laughs> it's still two points. There's not many bonus cards that I would get at least two points from doing this. Because, um, yeah, you're just not like Forrester, I'd get four, but wouldn't be able to max it out. Okay, a couple of seeds. A couple of seeds. Please don't ruin that for me. Maybe Vilpo has the three point per bonus card. When that eventually comes out in Asia in like 2037 on digital. Um, yeah, that's not going to be fun. That's not going to be fun at all. Seed web expert. Yeah, I suppose I have got I've got two that eat only seeds, so I could get some points. But the the citizen scientist, but for cached food, I'd get some points off that. Okay, food, 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 food. Please seeds. Okay. One, two, three. So there we go, we, we're we tied with the record now. So we are going to beat it. Four more turns to go. Oh, they also got to five. Where did they put their fifth bird? Egret into Gannet. Wetland scientist, anyone? Fishery manager, anyone? Scary stuff. These guys, if they've got big bonus card scores, they're going to do well. Going to run out of egg space. Yeah, I'm going to run out by one. But I thought it was going to be a lot worse than that. I thought I was going to run out like at the start of round five or start of round four. I am going to run out at the start of round five, but um, yeah, to any, to any miss one egg. Yes! Seed! There we go. That's a point. <laughs> That's a point right there. Yeah, I thought I was going to run a lot sooner, so. That carrying crow. Yeah, but at the time, like you can say it in, you can say it with hindsight, geez, but at the time it wasn't, it wasn't a good pickup. Um, only having one predator down, so I I don't regret I don't regret not picking it up because to pick it up and play it it's two turns. I'm happy with uh, I'm happy with my decisions. I regret nothing. Um, yeah, what sh hmm, what should I do? Game food. You should regret. Nah. I mean, like, you can say anything with hindsight. <laughs> like you say, you could say I should have done so many other things with hindsight, but when there was only a Cooper's Hawk down, it wasn't a good play. Um, there's no way, there's no way you can expect there that they're going to play two more. Um, I'm, I'm not going to pick it up just in case. Because like, if I pick it up and play that, and then it only has three caches at the end of the game, it's going to look like a terrible play. And then you be in the chat saying, oh, you shouldn't have picked that up and played it. You should have kept going for the cash food, because now you missed the record. So, there's always hindsight. See the waxwing. Interesting stuff. Great regret. No great regrets here. Okay, we get three more seeds, so don't mind that. Let's even out these. Uh, oh, what am I doing? Oh, no. Do I have four? But only three. Maybe the crossbill. 
I'm hoping I can get these at least somewhat even. It's like when you're going chiff chaff and you're doing tuck cards, you wanna you wanna spread the love a bit. At least if it's a tiebreaker, you've got this in the bag, yeah. I think that's safe to say. 19 food already. Um we're gonna we're gonna cross we're gonna cross the triple digit mark, which I'll be honest, I didn't expect at the start of this game. I thought I was gonna finish at like 60 or 70 points or something, so. Wild Turkey, nice big point play. I would love to know the most food that's ever lost a tiebreaker. Yeah, it's good. It's a good question. Good question. It's not often you see multiple players have shared loads of food left over. Normally, it's just one uh, one dingus like me. Okay. Yeah, I'm very worried about V pole. Five bonus cards, lots of big point birds down. I think they're probably going to be the one that wins this game. In spite of all of our cash food. Um, but you never know, we could we could have a shot of competing. We could have a shot. Yeah, Ms. Marzi, I mean the black headed gull it's it sat there. It did pop up in the tray. So yeah. Um But I mean if someone had like uh I suppose in this scenario, if I had Eurasian J, Eurasian J would be perfect here because they've always got seeds because I'm giving them seeds. So I could just steal the, I give them a seed, <laughs> steal it back and cash it. And I get a cash. Like, what more do you want in life than caches? So that would have been nice. This definitely has been perfect because um, if this was a caching bird, this would be better because this is a gamble. I might not get a seed, and there have been plenty of times where I've not got seeds. But obviously, if this caches, you always get the seeds. So come on, it's more like it. That's more like it. Um, it's going to be another four cash turn. Uh, I suppose five with a tip mouse. So exploding brain. I feel blessed to have witnessed this. I mean, I feel blessed to have to have done this. <laughs> it just looks ridiculous. <laughs> this is so dumb. But it's worked. It's it's worked. I mean, could you imagine how amazing this would have been if someone had like a snipe or a, a canvas back and was just giving me cards all game? Like I could have been I could have been playing some free birds, but also chucking chucking cards and getting even more food like that would have just been amazing where were you when the three player cash record fell absolutely looking at the boards is like oh yes that's a wig spam board and then yeah you come back to mine like what the hell <laughs> what has this person done this is like um this is like when you play against the easy ai and you look at their board at the end of the game like what like they just play a, a hawk and a chickadee and just take food for the rest of the game you're like this can't have been programmed right this this is not how the game is supposed to be played um, and this definitely feels a bit like that oh did I see that Benelli I forgot they had that so that was probably the game for them um, what's that 10 8 points pretty solid stuff um, we're going to take food come on it could it could all come down to how many seeds we get here um, and we only get one there which is definitely not ideal so hopefully uh, when we re-roll Next turn. Oh, if we get a full complement, if we get if we get all the seeds, if we get four seeds in the bird feeder, that's what we want. So there we go, triple digit, sixty-four caches so far. Hopefully a few more. Um, but yeah, <laughs> this is this is just this is so silly. This is so very silly. Man, I do, I do worry. They've got a lot of birds down, and the more birds you have down, the more likely you are to get good points from these bonus cards. So, okay. Oh, did they use hummingbird there? Oh no, they used um, they used the bee eater, and that was a not, not a good reroll, not a good reroll on bee eater. So. 
Yeah, we're going to have like 25, 25 food left over. Uh, which is a bit, which is a bit much. It's a bit extra. But at least we've got that tiebreaker secured if it comes to that. What's this player going to do? Surely they've got one last good bird to play. Or are they laying eggs? Uh, they laid eggs. Right, come on. Come on, Wingspan Gods, please. Thank you. That's literally all that I needed, so I'll take it. Um, and yeah. We're going to have some uneven caches here, but never mind. We can't. We can't lay any eggs. Run out on the last turn. But that's okay. We all tie the end of round. <laughs> Oh, we're going to go into the scores. This is going to be the jankiest score count up you've ever seen. Um, I don't think we're going to win. We're in with a slight chance because I know we're in triple digits, but I think V-Pole looks like they're going to score well. I think their bonus cards probably. Yeah, 17 and 18. So both players doing well on bonus cards. But here we go. Some eggs, um, but really for us, it's all about these cash foods. So look at that. Isn't it beautiful? Oh, lovely stuff. 68. Oh, we win! <laughs> oh my god, that's the best thing ever. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh, I don't even know. I don't even know. <laughs> Oh, what a game. <laughs> that's so funny. Oh, that's the best. That's the best thing I've ever done. <laughs> oh, could you imagine if we tied and I did win on, on Food Tiebreaker? <laughs> oh, just, just soak it all in. Let it all, let it all sink in. <laughs> this board... This board won the game. <laughs> oh, wow. Well, there we have it. There we have it. Two point ethologist. So OP. Uh, let's take a look at their bonus card. So we had Viticulturalist, Omni, Bird Bander, Blank on Behaviorist. But a nice ecologist pickup there. That was for Vpole. And then Louisa. Pretty good look at that. Six on diet specialist, six on large bird, and six on urologist. So very, very nice, but they ain't got nothing. <laughs> they ain't got nothing on full cash. Oh, that was amazing. 